okay so the first topic in the multi criteria decision making is scoring model so even though scoring model is not a modern approach is not a well articulated model but before going to other advanced technique you need to understand the basic concept of scoring model but but approaching to the scoring model you need to understand a little bit more about criteria because multi criteria decision making we need to use where there are multi criteria where there are multi alternative so you need to understand the characteristic of criteria so the first characteristic of the criteria is that completeness completeness mean it is important to ensure that all of important criteria are included for example buying a, 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 a car you need to include all the important criteria for example you need to include the cost you need to include the resale value you need to include the uh, mileage uh, you need to include the spare parts you need to include uh, the co2 emission etc etc so if you missing one specific important criteria if the list of the criteria in a specific decision is not complete then that whole decision process will be useless so make sure that you include all the important criteria while making a multi criteria decisions redundancy redundancy in principal criteria that have been judged relatively unimportant are to be duplicate should be removed at a very early stage redundancy mean you not to include one specific characteristic two time okay for example one specific name also representing a specific criteria another specific criteria also representing that characteristic but it's not including that characteristic fully so you not need to include a specific criteria which share or which depending on some other criteria so all the criteria should be uh, independent there should no redundancy operationality third one is the operationality it is important that each alternative can be judged against each criteria so for example if you want to buy a car you have different alternatives you have different criteria so now you need to compare different criteria with different alternatives if you missing one specific criteria while not comparing with that alternative it will create problem for you the whole decision process will not be uh, accurate mutual independence of criteria so as i already mentioned all criteria will be independent mean mutually there will be nothing uh, inclusive but all the criteria should be mutually exclusive exclusive mean all will be independent for example independent mean that if you throw a coin head have no dependency on the tail and tail have no dependency on the head so they are not depending on one another straightforward application of mcdm require that preference associated with the consequences of the alternative are independent of each other from one criteria to the next so in simple word for example buying a car the criteria is let's suppose is one is cost one is resale and one is let's suppose mileage per gallon etc so mean all these criteria are totally independent there is nothing mutually inclusive all are mutually exclusive number of criteria an excessive number of criteria leads to extra analytical effort in assessing input data and can make communication of the result of the analysis more difficult so you also need to 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 to, to uh, only include those criteria which are very important if you increase the number of criteria it will make the problem more complex and the outcome of that decision will not be so satisfactory so these are some characteristics you need to uh, understand you need to keep while running a decision uh, analysis so starting from the scoring model which is just a basic approach in the multi criteria decision making a scoring model for job selection so me i am just going to start from a simple example a graduating college student with a double major in finance and accounting has received the following three job offers so actually the student have double major he have expertise in finance and accounting and at the moment he received the following three job offer financial analyst for an investment firm in chicago so from chicago he 
got an offer as a financial analyst. Yes, he has some background in finance. Accounting from the other firm, he got uh, a, an offer from accounted for a fixing firm in Denver. So he also have an accounting ba background. And the third one is the auditor for a CPA firm in uh, Houston. So basically, he or she received three different job offer, and the speciality and the objectives of their job are different from one another. Now this is a little bit uh, complex problem. Now he is in the decision phase. What he she need to do? Which firm, which city should he she need to join? So now in such life scenario, we will construct, we will formulate a scoring model in order to decide that which place, which city, which job will be the most feasible for one. So a scoring model for job selection, the student made the following comments. Now, for example, if you uh, have finance and accounting background and you got uh, three different, you get three different offer, you will start thinking about yourself. Okay, if the financial analyst position provides the best opportunity for my long run career advancement, now he start or she start thinking that if I join this, then it will give me the best opportunity for my long run career advancement. Second, so this is mean he start thinking about long run career advancement. So in this, he just thinking about long run career. I would prefer living in Denver rather than Chicago or Houston. So maybe he have some relatives maybe or maybe he have home or maybe he is near to the Denver. So now he give a preference to the location. I would prefer living in Denver rather than to moving to Chicago or Houston. The third one is I like the management style and philosophy at the Houston CPA from the best. He liked the philosophy, he liked the environment, he liked the teamwork in the CPA firm in Houston. So now he have three different, uh, he basically raised three different comments in, in, uh, in their own. Clearly this is a multi-criteria decision problem. So I hope that you understand the nature of this problem. This is totally related to multi-criteria decision problem. Now what he she need to do? Considering only the long run career advancement criteria, the financial and analyst position in Chicago is the best decision alternative. So you need to think about this. Considering only the location criteria, the accountant position in is best decision. Considering only the style criteria, the auditor position in Houston is the best alternative. So style, location, and the financial analyst position in Chicago. These are three different uh, choices these are different mean utility function which the person which the candidate want now what you need to do in a scoring model we want to construct this model step required to develop a scoring model step one list the decision making criteria what are your criteria assign a weight to each criteria then on the next step you need to assign different weight to the criteria for example if you want to assign a likert scale normally one two three five so which criteria will be most suitable for you? So definitely if a criteria is most suitable for you, you will assign a high heavy weight. Let's suppose five in the Likert scale. Rate how will each decision alternative satisfy each criteria? Then we will compare each alternative with each criteria. Which one will be the most feasible one? Step four, compute the score for each decision alternative. Then we will calculate the decision alternative score. Then we will give them an order. An ascending order or descending order, order the decision alternative from highest score to lowest score. The alternative with the highest score is the recommended. So those alternatives which give us the highest score will be the most suitable uh, decision. So this is the mathematical model. Sj is equal to summation i wi. This is the weight which you want to assign and rij. So RIJ is the rating for criteria I and decision alternative J and SJ score of decision alternative J. Okay, so list the criteria important factor. So now you need to remember this. I will show you that SJ is equal to summation how practically it's work. So let me start the first step as I already discussed the step. So what was the first step? List the decision making criteria. What are the different criteria which the candidate think about? Career advancement, yes, if you 
get an offer from a firm, you will definitely think about career advancement. That is this job will give me further advancement. Location, yes, you also need, for example, if a student based in Karachi and if he, she get an offer uh, from Karachi as and if he also, he, she also get an offer in Peshawar, so definitely he will, he, she will prefer to start work in Karachi. So location is another criteria. Management, management style. What is the management style? Is there any discrimination? Is there any mean, some mean, uh, not good environment? And what is the management philosophy? So yes, this is also very, very important. Salary, yes. If you uh, get offer from two to three firms, you will also compare salary. Definitely, you will uh, like to, uh, to join an organization where the salary is high. Prestige, is this organization is totally new, bankrupt, or it's very mean, uh, a, a very good, reputable uh, organization. So prestige, job security. Job security is also very, very important. What is the job security? That means if you join and within one month they will fire. So mean you also need to think about this. Enjoyable work. So all these criteria are independent. As I already mentioned, there should be no redundancy. All the criteria should be independent, mutually exclusive. So these are different criteria, important factors in this example. Now we will assign a Likert scale to these uh, different criteria. Five point scale chosen for step five. Very important, unimportant, we assigning a weight one. Somewhat unimportant, two. Average importance, three. Somewhat important, four. Very important, five. So now we will assign these weight into these criteria. So basically these are our criteria, career advancements. Yes, definitely everyone want that their future is bright. That their careers is further improve, grow up. So career was very important. We assign a five. This is just in this example. You can also assign a four. So don't worry about this. Okay. Just now in this example, I am assigning five. Location. This is average important. Sometimes me because some faculty member working, they are from Karachi. They are working in GIK Institute. They are working here. So me sometimes you compromise on this. So that is why we assigning an average weight, average importance three. Management, yes, this is very, very important. What is the management style? If there is discrimination, if there is not good work environment, management somewhat important. So we also assign a four weight salary. So sometimes because if you are mean starting your career in the early stage, you're not giving too much preference, average importance, you just give them an average importance and you assign a three. Prestige, Prestige because in the early stage, you, you you just want to get some job offer. You not be uh, totally relying on the prestige. Yes, definitely you will give uh, prestige a very high value. If you have some expertise, definitely in that scenario, you will definitely choose an organization which is very mean uh, prestigious. So someone unimportant, we assign it to job security, somewhat important. Four, this is very important criteria. So that is why we assign four. Enjoyable work, very important. Five, if you not enjoying, if that job is very stressful, if that job gives you more depression, definitely you will not. So this is very, very important. Otherwise, you will not be able to compromise on your health. So basically, we assign the step two where to those criteria. Now, we will introduce a nine point scale chosen for step three. Step three, so you need to understand, we will go to the step three, but you need to understand now we will assign these to the alternatives. Extremely low, we will assign a rate one, very low two, low three, straight, slightly low four, average five, slightly high six, high seven, very high eight, extremely high nine. Basically, uh, set introduced this scale. So I will show you that how we will assign these weight into step three. So this is basically step three, right? How will each decision alternative satisfy each criteria? So now we have different alternatives. As I already mentioned, Chicago, analyst position, in Denver, the accountant position, and in Houston, the auditor position. And these are our uh, seven criteria. Now with each criteria, again, with each alternative, we will assign these scales. So you can see very high eight, extremely high nine. So now he giving more preference to 
the uh, analyst position at Chicago. Why? Because career advancement. And I have already told you in the start that the candidate giving the financial analyst position in Chicago is the best decision uh, alternative. Considering only the location, the accountant position at Denver is the best decision. In this, he giving more preference to location, the financial analyst position in Chicago, he giving more to this and style, he like the auditor position in Houston. So now we basically assigning these uh, weights, uh, which I already discussed in this, these weights to uh, against each criteria, against each uh, uh, alternative. So the first alternative is this one. So career advancement, yes, definitely he is signing a huge weight to this position. Accountant in Denver, so this is mean he just giving uh, six and six is slightly high. And auditor at Houston, he just assigning four, slightly low. Location. So location, what is his criteria for location? So once again, I am uh, going back. Location. So consider location criteria, the, the accounted position in Denver. So now I am going to the Denver. Denver is uh, accounted position. So location, so you can see he is signing a, a heavy weight to accounted position at Denver. Location against this alternative, which is accounted at Denver, is very high. He gave a very low score analyst at Chicago and auditor at Houston. Similarly, for management, he assigned a 5 to this, uh, 6 to accounted at Denver, and 9 very auditor management style because he liked the management style of uh, Houston organization. So that is why he assigning a very huge weight to this one. Similarly, for salary, so this is means 6, 7, 5. These are more similar. As I already mentioned, that mean in the early stage, maybe he just giving a very uh, important weight, but mean all these are not too much different from one another. Similarly, for prestige, 754, not assigning a very huge weight. Job security, so this is also enjoyable at work. So he assigning analyst at Chicago a very huge weight. So when you assign these weight, I hope that you understand that we assign, we compare each criteria with each alternative and we apply this nine point scale to each one. Then we will now use, as I already show you that we will use this S is equal to summation W R I J. Okay. So this is the rating and this is the weight. So from where we get this weight? So we get this with these weights. These are the criteria weights 5, 3, 4, 3, 2. So we have already calculated 5, 3, 4, 3, 2, 4, 5. We assign these weight to these criteria in step 2. And in step 3, we have calculated, we have uh, assigned, we compared each criteria with analyst. At, so me just taking this analyst at Chicago. So this is decision alternative 1. Alternative one is analyst at Chicago. So now these are the criteria where you need to multiply W with respect to the analyst Chicago, this column. Okay, 835. So you will multiply this WRI1. This is our alternative one. When you multiply 3, 3 is a 9, 4, 5 is a 20, 3, 6 is a 18, 2, 7 is a 14. When you sum it, it's 157. Similarly, for the second, second alternative is Accounted at Denver. So in the next step, this will be the weight and this will be the, the Denver weight. And then you when you calculate this, so from the first it is 157, from the second it is 167, from the third alternative, third alternative is auditor at Houston. So weight, which weight? These weight 5 multiply by 4, okay, 3 multiply by 7, and 4. Similarly, you will calculate this and you will get this one. So now compute the score of each decision alternative. Which alternative giving you the heaviest score? So S2. S2 is which one? S2 is the accounted at Denver is have the highest score. So definitely we need the candidate need to join this organization. So you can see compute the score of each decision alternative. Decision alternative for against these criteria. Score. From analyst at Chicago is 157, from accountant at Denver is 167, and from auditor to Houston is 149. Now, step 5, out of the decision alternative from highest score to the lowest score, the alternative with the highest score is the recommended alternative. 
the accounted position at Denver. So why they counted? Because this have the highest score. Okay, Denver has the highest score and it is the recommended decision alternative. Note that the analyst and accountant position in Chicago and Denver have same rank. First in three of seven. So first is three of seven is that among all these three alternatives, which criteria have the heaviest weight? So among Chicago, Denver, and Houston, this one have the highest score, forty. So I just uh, include all these score in a red box. Similarly, in the location one. The Denver have the highest score because 24 is greater than 21 and 9. Similarly, in this one, 36 is greater than. Similarly, in this row, which is salary, this one. So you can see that they counted at Denver have three most optimal criteria. Similarly, analysts at Chicago have also three most optimal criteria. While auditor at Houston is very low, mean it have only one optimal criteria. So if you want. Note that analyst and account position in Chicago and Denver have same rank first in 3 of 7. So 3 of 7 criterion compared to only 1 of 7 for the auditor position in Houston. But when the weight of criteria are considered, the Denver position is superior to the Chicago job. So based on this score, the candidate need to prefer this one. But let's suppose if this score is lower than 167. But if suppose this there is another box appear. Let's suppose there are four most optimal criteria and this option, this alternative have three most optimal criteria. Then you can also choose even though this score is less than this, but you have let's suppose four optimal criteria, four maximum criteria for which you get a more score, then you can also choose this one. So this is just a simple interpretation of the scoring model uh, and I hope that you understand. Uh, I will give you some assignment in which you will solve some more problem while using the scoring model. Thank you so much.